What's the goal of Tisha B'Av? Tisha B'Av is not like any other fast day that we have. We have the five Inuyim. We sit on the floor. The lights are dimmed. We don't put towels and tefillin on. We have all these unique factors and halachos for Tisha B'Av. What, why? What's the goal? One of the earliest people to cry for the exile of the Jewish people is Rachel Imenu Mevaka al She cries and me anali nachim al She won't be comforted. She won't be consoled. Ki einenu. Because her children are gone. The simple pshat, it is Rachel Imenu is saying, where have they gone? My children, the B'nai Yisrael, they're in exile. I cannot be comforted. But says the Zohar, that's not why she's crying. That's not the ki einenu. The ki einenu is... Hashem is a nenu. Hashem is not there. That deep rift, that gaping hole that was created when the Beis Hamikdash was destroyed is that we lost God. Not just the house, but God in our lives. And the major difference between Tisha B'Av and the other fast days is that perhaps the other fast days are about what leads up to Tisha B'Av. But Tisha B'Av is what's happening right now. That right now, I don't feel that relationship in my life. That right now, it's ki a nenu. And that's why on Tisha B'Av we open the kinos and it's about tragedies and persecutions and pogroms and Chil Hashem and decimation and terrible stories. Because when God is Ki Einenu, then Hashem's name is, is dragged through the mud. But it's not just about the rise of anti-Semitism and the persecutions. It's in my own life. Tisha B'Av is when I look around and I say, I, I want it. I, I want to feel it. That's why on Tisha we don't wear talis or tefillin. That's the pair, the beauty, the crown, the glory, the greatness. Tisha is that we've, we've gone far from God. We're missing God in our lives. And the great answer is, though, that we can turn it all around. It's Yirmiyoh Anavi himself, the one who prophesied, the one who talks about the destruction, the one who writes Eicha. And yet in the third paragraph of Yirmiyoh, he says, Halo me'ata karasali avi. Just now you called me father. And Dr. Erica Brown in her beautiful Sefer in the three weeks describes that while Rashi reads this as rhetorical, if only you would have called me father, others read it as a breaking point. That even amongst the darkness and the desecration and alienation, we can stop, we can turn to God, and we can say, Abba. At any moment, our parents are waiting for us to come back. And that's what we can do. So Tisha B'Av is not a day we should just get through. It's a day that when we talk about the tragedies and we talk about how bad it has been in Jewish history, we look around and we say, I want God back and more in my life. I want God more in my life. So it's a day where from the burning embers from, of Jewish tragedy, from the ashes of the Beis Hamikdash and the persecutions, even from afar, we turn and we say, Abba. And when we do that, HaKadosh Baruch Hu turns to us. And that is a goal that we can have over Tisha B'Av, to look through those stories and through the kinos, and through that, Karasali Avi, to crawl out Abba.